Three people were injured in a shooting an overnight at an after-hours bar in North Houston. Police say they do have a suspect in custody. Fox 26's Sherman DeSalle is live from where the shooting happened with what police are saying. Sherman. Hey, good afternoon, Tom. They say this shooting happened around 4 a.m. inside of the La Pecadoras Bar. We'll take a look. We're on the 8700 block of Fulton Street. It's closed for this part of the day. Typically, an after-hours bar that's open that late. Uh, would not be open around this time of the day. But when you look it up on Google Maps, it's listed right now as being temporarily closed. Here's what we know so far, Tom. This happened around 4 a.m. Houston police got to the scene. They found two men and one woman with gunshot wounds. You can see them on camera being treated by first responders last night, one being bandaged. Two of them were put on a stretcher and placed in the back of an ambulance. They were last reported to be in stable condition. Now, police say that there was an argument inside the bar and then shots were fired. A security officer at the club took the suspect into custody. And investigators are combing through whatever they can find to figure out what happened last night. Right now we're uh, looking for surveillance video, trying to get witnesses to determine exactly what happened. We believe there was some kind of argument. Uh, that's when the shooting broke out. We're not sure if the people that were struck were intended victims or if they were just caught in the uh, crossfire. All right, here's another live look at Las Pecadoras Bar. It's closed for right now, but we're on the 8700 block of Fulton. We actually spoke to a man who lives next door to this bar. He actually didn't even know that that shooting happened. He said, typically, it's a pretty chill place. There's some loud music, but there's not a lot of commotion that's happening. He also says that the last time a major incident happened at this bar was about six years ago under different ownership and a different name. Reporting from the north side, Sherman DeSalle, Fox 26 News.